Okay. Hello everybody and welcome back to a, another Hogwarts Legacy video. In the last video, we, um... Hey, my shit's done. Thank you for getting me the new videos, and thank you for getting me Maxima Potion. No, not you. So, in the last video, we found the room requirement, and I made it all pretty. As I don't remember what else happened in that video, because I feel like that was it. thought that was it. Damn, these things are just gonna give me so many fucking Ditney leaves. These give me Ditney leaves. These... This is supposed to be random, I think, but it's only giving me Ditney leaves. Compost. My fire ladder's done. Also, in between this episode and last episode, I went and got enough money to buy us a light a thunder brute potion for when we um are fighting bad guys. So that I didn't have to wait for money through that other thing so we can go and get that other spell whenever we did. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Uh... Oh my god, I have 22 out of 50. All this I need to clean up anyway. It looked like shit. But I kinda like this side. I mean, I didn't. I couldn't care less about those over there. But I actually like this side of the room. Remove the. There we go. I removed one. Bit. You have the moonstone. Hello. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? I did. I'm already ahead of you. Have I gotten new ones since my last fucking about venture here? I wanted to pin butterflies before. Shall we move on? There you go. Hold on, I'm spawning back in my fucking things. It's decoration switch.
I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. I don't think I'll ever use this because you can do it when you're spawning shit in. It is now purple. I'm also changing it back to red before. Because I know I'm a forgetful person. Change it to the electric dung. Change it before I forget. And change the um, okay. oh, I can't change the size of this thing. Uh, what's that? I can change this. Up. Can I change the size of this massive thing? I actually kind of like a big bed. Big. Now you're ready for something. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Oh, I like that one. Thank you. 
it's so off-putting that everything else is in here is red, but my top is blue. I think I might have to change it. I think I'm gonna change it to this one instead. I like that one. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, let's let's see if I change the color in red. Your space. I don't know. Don't you think? Deke, would you mind? I like that one. Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. I just hate that's cut off.
like this guy. I think that's all. Oh. Yay. It's even prettier now. Damn, I really spent time to decorate this place. Hey, we won't. Not you. Well, did you? Nice. What deek? Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. What the fuck? There's more? It just, just destroyed my man statue, though. And more that I have to fucking customize now. Fuck off. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Gold herbology trophy, dressing screens. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, where's Deacon? It's kind of cool that it's dark, but I don't. Eh. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Eh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I like the room to feel natural and earthy as though I'm outdoors. Oh, sounds perfect. I kind of like this one. I kind of don't like this one actually. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? What does dark and mysterious like look like? Mysterious. I don't feel like this can be my own. As if I'm in the forbidden forest, surrounded by shadows. Oh, sounds perfect.
I actually don't mind it. No, I feel like it's the warming cozy. Like just the one that we started off with. Room's ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to be warm and comfortable, as if I'm floating inside a mug of butterbeer. Hmm, oh, sounds perfect. I don't give a fuck with the portraits. It just works best. like that though.
ceiling. That looks kind of cool. And can I change the shit to the red? Can't hack you in a book, shit. All right, I think that's enough. It's enough swapping and changing for one day. More Disney leaves. Uh, well, I guess I can. Just create some shit while we wait for the last potion. Oh! Did I switch those? No, I didn't want to. Okay, well. Jesus. I didn't want big like that. It was like fucking giants are gonna eat there now. Because we eat like kings. 
Cause we eat, cause we eat like motherfucking kings out in this bitch, bro. Alright. Wow, I already need some of that shit. Oh, another wing and wall potion. I don't mind. I don't mind the wing and wall potions. I have 18 of them now. And half this episode has been me just customizing. Alrighty, time to go see what the fuck Sebastian wants. You want to meet in the dark? Why? Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. Mm. The fuck is the Undercroft? There's a secret oh, is this that just chest there. thing that it's I well saw disguised. earlier that I was literally like... Oh, yep, it is. Because I was like, this is... Looks too good to just be unleft undone or whatever. To be left without knowing. This looks too good to not be anything. There we go. Cool. Oh. You didn't come with me? How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. Revenia! He's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Okay, what is this place for? I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard Anyone else speak the of it? Gaunts are certainly never seen anyone else fucking here. Cells are Again, Slytherin, which mention this to no one, especially ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Understood. But why does ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to. 
away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the blasting curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic, but you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Confringo. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. How at Swan? Oh, that's how you get the dragon. That's how you get the dragons around the castle that are up high. That's it. I think I've got it done. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. I've been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? 
Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between Bombardo. us. Bombardo. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Okay. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there! I can hear you! Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? I stumbled upon it. room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Don't threaten me, motherfucker. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Confringo! <laughs> I really wish I could fucking destroy your ass. Don't talk to me like that. I really wish Come it was. And see me as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the ministry. Hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. Probably, brother. I really wish it was instead of that, it would have been like, don't fucking threaten me, bitch. I will kill you if needed. I've always said that travel broadened. Confringo! And I can hear oh, <gasps> Professor Garlic. Objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisites, girl, tasks, do see me after class. Girl, don't tempt me like that. Don't make me complete prerequisites. I'm gonna come to you right now. Okay, well, I'm about to lose. 
let loose a venomous tentacula in the fucking in the common room. Bonk. There's venomous tentacula. Lady, do not step near that. She don't give a fuck. Damn, she kind of fine, girl. What's up? Mm, Ravenclaw? Mm, that means you smart. Is she in Ravenclaw? Yeah, she is. Damn, girl. All right. I need a Mandrake. Fine. I'm gonna go get a Mandrake real quick from Hogsmeade. I'll just buy one from. I'm guessing this guy might have one. Either that one or this one. Uh. Imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue pack. Oh, it's you! Hello, what a pleasant surprise. You got mandrakes. I do need Mallow Sweet. Fuck. You're not who I want. You say I don't keep a stack shelf. Damn, I don't got a lot of money. Should I? I should equip new gear and no sell first, maybe. Fifty-two. That was horrible. When are you gonna give me a house thing that's not that? I'm gonna sell these real quick. I can't sell my pants on because three broomsticks and all the van fuck off. Where are all the selling shops? Go to my man, J Pippin. Not J Pippin. This is a. No, no. I like J Pippin. That's the only one I know his name too. And I go to this guy, but I don't really. He's just the. He's the dressing man. What's his real name? Augustus. Ready Augustus Hill. Fashion, are we? Plenty to choose from here, so take your time. There go back to a thousand. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Wait. Do you still have the... No, I opened your chest. Fuck. You're not here for an autograph. I need Mandrakes, chick. I'm entirely sure I have them in stock. Thank oh, you. I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Yeah, no problem. So I need to use this Thunder Brew and... This 
advantage rate when I get into combat, which these last few missions have not been combat oriented and it kind of sucks because I need to, need to fucking use these. Hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Eldridge Diggory's portrait in the common room told me about his great niece, Helen. His great niece? Yes, she used to be an aura. Well... She took me to Azkaban to meet Anne Thisby. You went to Azkaban? Quite an experience. But you see, Anne knew Richard Jackdaw before he died, so I had to find his ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And a portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. Yeah, Peeves fucking sucks dick. We all know that. To think it was beneath us all this time. here to see this. Oh, his wife, that's so sad. Hello, Professor Hello, Rackham. Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. 
Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vaulting Gringotts? Yes. You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key and of trials you'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? It looks the Owlry. I know that tower. It's not far. You may have it's seen not. it yourself. It I have familiar. actually. I have not. Your young tower friend is more well traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful. And do not tell anyone where you're going. This is a pretty map. Alright guys, but I think that's where we're going to end it. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I know half of it was, was mailing me. You learned, Glacius, the freezing oh. It is an Hello. efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. Once you've done that, come and see me. I agree with me needing to learn this glacier spell. Oh, those balloons that are flying you can pop them? I didn't know that. Oh, shit. Oh, but in the next episode, we'll be doing that and we'll be going to that tower. So, thank you guys for watching this episode of Hogwarts Legacy.